everything you want to know about cows, but were too afraid to ask. You probably know cows from burgers, steak, and climate change. In the UK, we spend £4.5 billion on meat and £4 billion on milk each year. The price of beef and milk is actually going up, while the amount we buy is going down. Cows are actually very, very friendly. If you're ever walking through a field and a bunch of cows start following, you do not run, because if you start running, they'll start running with you, because they think that you're just great fun to be with. They also love music too. Black and white cows like these ones are called Holstein Friesians. They're most likely to be your dairy milk cows. The ones that turn into steak can be from a variety of different breeds. However, both dairy and milk cows do get eaten at the end of the day. Beef and milk are nutritious foods. However, there is evidence that they are bad for your health if you eat too much of them. Please do not listen to what Michaela Peterson says. The best song ever written about cows is Moo by Doja Cat. Yeah, bitch, I'm a cow, bitch, I'm a cow. They have a habit of getting into the news. Back in 2013, they were so popular that a bunch of horses pretended to be cows. One lasagna was found to be basically Ooh. entirely horse meat. McDonald's, ironically, were not caught out. Whatever you think about the health of their food, their supply chain is as tight as a Tory welfare state. Their other big moment in the press was back in the 20th century. <laughs> I'm so old. When the beef industry thought it was a good idea to turn cows, which are herbivores, into carnivores, this resulted in mad cow disease. There is general consensus that beef is one of the worst things for climate change. Cows are linked to lots of greenhouse gases, and the feed that they eat is often linked to deforestation. And they're way less efficient at producing protein than, say, a chicken is. Now, two things are about to happen in the comments. One, we're going to get a bunch of vegans saying we're all murderers for eating meat. Secondly, we'll get a bunch of people saying it's not the cow, it's the how. And what they mean is that it's not beef per se that is bad for the environment, but it's actually the way it's produced. Now, this is a valid argument because there's an enormous range of impacts of beef production. However, even the best regenerative beef production is still quite heavy on the environment. Nonetheless, the IPCC, which is basically the international body on climate change, have recalculated cow's impact on greenhouse gases because they had potentially been overstated in the past. Doesn't suddenly make it as good as a carrot. And when it comes to veganism, I understand the ethical problem with eating animals. However, when it comes to shouting at people on social media, you've got to realise that it's about as effective as knocking on the Vatican door as a Jehovah's Witness and saying, hey, have you thought about changing faith? While beef is a huge environmental concern, the best way for us to deal with that is to actually introduce a carbon tax which would increase the cost of high impact foods such as beef whilst then reducing the cost of things that are really good for the environment such as leafy greens, carrots, etc. Who knows, it could even raise a little bit of money to go back into the welfare state and help people who can't afford food in the first place. Yeah, fat chance of it happening under this government.